What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, what we're doing is, I have a commission to do a Batman Begins um, head sculpt. So this is from Unreal Customs or Unreal Toys, whichever you prefer to say. I know it was Unreal Customs at one point, uh, now it's Unreal Toys. So anyways, uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm building the skin tone. I start off with a base coat and then I go through and I build the skin tone i start with um just a base that i mix together which was this right here each character that i do is different then off of the base i take that and i'll darken it and i'll lighten it in two separate jars right uh, and the reason i do that is because i gotta have my shade my shadows and then i gotta have my highlights um that's for you know the shades in between um the crevices of the cheeks and then uh, the highlights where the light might hit um, and uh, show some highlights. So what I've done already is I've applied the base, I've done all the shading, and I've started to do flecking as well as his um, 5 o'clock shadow around his mustache. Let's see if I can kind of show you right here. So you see that? So what I'm going to do now is I just put, uh, just started flecking more as well as I did another uh, overlap of uh, some base. So I'm trying to build up translucent layers, if that makes sense, um, so that the end product looks like realistic skin tone. At least that's what I'm going for. That's what we're shooting for. So right now I'm going to mix up uh, some shadow tone and um, I'm going to do couple of the creases very lightly and then we're going to go through with some brown uh this is transparent paint from cretex and uh we're going to do some more flecking that flecking is little micro dots that hit uh it's barely noticeable but what it does is it gives it some texture if you will you don't want it to be like a bunch of little dots all over the face but then again you do you just want them barely visible and to the naked eye it just makes it stand out. It, it, it makes it look like texture, like actual skin tones, pores, so on and so forth. So it's a lengthy process, but uh, you know, I'm not going to show everything. Um, but I figured I'd show you what I can. I've already started. So, yeah, I'm going to mix this and uh, be back. So I hope there's enough light here for you to be able to see the texture coming out. All right, so I am now just doing the finishing touches. I'm going, I, I have the mouth and the eyes taped off. I went ahead to the eyes. I, I basically did everything, <laughs> finished everything. Um, as I stated in previous video, it's just, it's hard for me to film what I'm painting, you know? Um, so I do apologize, but I think you guys are gonna like this. It's some of my best eye work that I've done. Uh, again, I'm learning. Um, you know, I've really been doing this like seriously now for probably like six to eight months. Um, before then, it was just, you know, I just paint stuff that I wanted done here or there. But um, like full fledged painting every single day, probably, probably six to eight months. Um, so uh, you're probably going to ask, like, what, what do you have put on his eyes and stuff right there? That's silly putty. Um, just I just get silly putty. Um, that's actually glow in the dark silly putty because they were out of regular, and uh, the stuff I had previous was just gunked up to shit. This is about there too, so I'm gonna have to get some some new stuff. But yeah, it's just silly putty, and uh, I just have that taped off. 
I'm gonna, I just did one coat on the cowl. I'm gonna do another one. Um, the issue that I don't wanna run into is the areas you have taped off. Uh, I've already painted underneath there. Um, because what you don't wanna do is do a bunch of coats and then you remove where you have it taped off and there'll be lines of like where you painted around that. So uh, yeah, we don't want that to happen. Um, you want to go back in with a brush and kind of smooth it out. Just make sure that you have clean lines. So, um, I'm just using, you know, a lot of people ask me like, what paints do you use? I use Vallejo, Vallejo and uh, Citadel, but for like blacks and whites, I just get regular craft paint, dude. Uh, look, I'll show you guys. This is all I get right here. I have literally no room to put this. Uh, just, just apple barrel. <laughs> just the, this is what I get. And then what I'll do is I'll take some reducer. Reducer is like your best friend, man. You got to thin out your paints, right? And then, um, a lot of times I'll add a medium. So like this is glaze medium. Um, and that's just, uh, when you're building layers, especially skin tone, you don't want to put a bunch of opaque layers on top of each other. You want it to be a little bit translucent, transparent, so that you can blend in detail. Um, your mediums will help that. If you can, just get regular medium, right? You can get that from Liquitex and companies like that. But for reducer, this is one of my favorites. I got a joker head on here that I'm doing for my buddy Frank. Um, this is Wicked Reducer by Cretex. Okay, I get this from Hobby Lobby. This is $4.99 just for this tiny little bottle. But you don't need much. Um, but what I'm starting to use recently is this stuff right here from Liquitex. And I get this from Michaels. And uh, it's just called Flow Aid Additive. And this is Reducer as well. And I fill up these little bottles. I have three of them that I get from uh, Hobby Lobby. And I just spray. Um, like one spray is good enough uh mostly like if i put a dab of paint in a cup or something like this i'll do one spray and uh it'll be good so uh yeah i do that so i don't use too much because you can you can over reduce your paints and then they're no good so anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and do another coat when this dries and then pull this off and i'll show you guys my eye work i'm really proud of it okay i'm still learning but um, I think that they came out really... I think this head sculpt came out really good. I'm going to order one for myself for the uh, Hot Toys Batman Begins figure that comes out. This is from uh, Unreal Customs. Or Unreal Toys now. I think he changed his name. I don't know. Lucky. Um, makes amazing capes. And uh, this head sculpt is really good. One of the best ones I've seen for Batman Begins. And it's the one that I'm going to go with. I know everybody goes with like the, the Ben Cho something. I, that's a great sculpt too. It's, uh, from what I understand, hard to get a hold of. Um, but after painting this sculpt, I really, really like it. And I'd like to get one for myself. So uh, definitely hit him up. See if he has more, if you're interested. So this does take a bunch of coats. Um, it's almost like it gets spotty when you first start applying it. It's really weird, man. I've never experienced this before. I've done repaints on Batman, but not from scratch. So... Yeah, that's that's a new learning experience. If you go to do one of these, after uh, the first like three coats, you'll it'll be spotty, and then eventually, <laughs> eventually, you'll see that your paint is actually you have uh, a nice um, uh, paint appliance on here, but paint application, not not appliance. Um, but yeah, it takes a few coats. I'm gonna have to do another coat after this. Uh, I know it probably looks fine to you guys, but it's not. It it needs another good one or two coats, and then it should be good to go. I also retaped off the eyes and everything, um, just so I don't get crazy uh, lines that I have to go back and fix up. So, yeah. Swear to me. <laughs> All right, so look, he is done. This is how the customer is going to be displaying them. In the video, it's going to be up like this, so it's going to be looking like he's looking way up. And you can't really see all the texture and detail within the skin tone or the eyes because it's... I don't have a setup to do this like this. Usually, I'm just showing figures and pickups. 
I need to make this whole viewing experience for you guys a lot better. I'm working on that, so bear with me. All right, look, I didn't know if I should make this video or not because I'm really not showing anything. I'm just, I, I showed you a couple in-betweens of when I was in between doing um, steps on this sculpt and then boom, here's the end result. I want to show you like a start to finish and eventually we will do that. I just have to come up with the, the right setup. What I have right now won't work because I need to be all hands on and nothing in my way when I'm painting. Okay. Uh, so look, I, I've been painting, like I said, uh, full, like every single day for about like six to eight months. Um, in total, I've been painting and like messing around modding figures and stuff for about two years. Um, there's a huge difference, right? Uh, there's a huge difference from when I was painting a figure here or there or modding one aspect of a figure compared to what I do now. It's completely two different things. Before I was uh, a wannabe painter and now I'm an actual painter. Okay, so before I was not an artist. Now I consider myself an artist, a pretty damn good artist if I do say so myself. Now, I was trying to get this matte finish on this sculpt. That was the last step. Stepped. That was the last step, right? And it wasn't working, just mixing the matte varnish inside of my black paint it wasn't working so just like i did the flecking for the skin tone um which is just a technique to bring out the texture and to build translucent skin tone i did that with the matte varnish so here's the airbrush right essentially normally you you'd pull back on the trigger this is how far it goes back usually you know you pull back about that far well to do this uh and then you can push down all the way well to do this to do flecking I just slightly pull back the trigger to where the needle is barely moved, but it has a really small opening and then applied very light pressure like so. You hear that compared to, right? So I did that and it was almost like, you know, when they um, shoot flock over a Funko pop, well, I don't know if you've ever seen that being done, um, but it's, it's kind of like that. It's like a bunch of micro um, particles come out and cover the whole thing. That's what it, that's kind of how it is with paint when you do flecking. Um, you could do it with a paintbrush. You can wet a paintbrush, dip it in the in the paint, and then literally. Um, can I demonstrate this with something I have here? Maybe, maybe not. So you wouldn't use this brush. Um, actually, you would use this one right here, but I can't grab it because I'm behind the camera. And you just do this. All right, and you would flick little dots, very subtle. You you don't even want it to really be visible, all right? But when you step back and you look at the sculpt, after you do it, see, like, I'll fleck, and then I'll do it with translucent paint so that, like, it'll go on the sculpt, and then I'll, like, dab it with my pinky so that it's barely visible. Like, you have to be right up on it to see it. And what that does is it, it creates texture. So essentially, I did that. <laughs> with the matte varnish all over the sculpt right and it gave me that matte finish that i was looking for now you're not going to be able to see how this actually looks in hand from this this video so i'm going to be putting photos on the screen uh, all throughout this last segment here so you can actually see how it looks in hand and uh, i couldn't be happier with the results if you saw the eyes I should have zoomed up on the eyes by now. If not, I'll do it right now. They came out just... I, I'm very happy with the way they came out. I have a long way to go, okay? So they can get a lot better. But compared to what I was at, I'm very pleased with how the eyes came out. Because I was, for a while now, just painting like 112 scale figures. And you can only get so far with doing those eyes, right? Um, you can't really get in there and do any type of detail. With one six and one fourth, you definitely can. And it's important to do that because you want this to look uh, just as good, if not better, than what you will get with a Hot Toys figure, right? And I think I accomplished that with this. So look, look, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's pretty much it. I know it wasn't really anything too interesting. It wasn't a tutorial. You maybe didn't learn anything, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy the finished product. Um, if you're interested in... And getting anything painted i think my prices are very very reasonable hit me up on instagram i have everything posted there and if you can't find it just dm me and i'll send you over the price list i think i'm very well actually i, I i'm pretty much cheaper than anybody else for my skill set for my skill set all right so i wouldn't expect you to hit up my boy thomas that's like a master painter 
and him have the same prices. His is going to be a lot more, but his is going to look like an actual human being right in front of you, right? Um, I'm getting there. It's just a work in progress. So look, guys, that's that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we do have a giveaway coming. I owe you guys a giveaway. And like I said, I'm, I'm doing what I can to make your viewing experience with these type of videos better. Just give me time. All right, guys. Uh, with that said, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Get out there and kill it. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Stay safe out there. Peace.